Today I'm asking the COVID vaccine, COVID-19 vaccine, to be trusted or not. On Tuesday, December 8, a lady made history. The 90-year-old Margaret Keenan of Coventry in the United Kingdom became the first person in the world to be given the Pfizer COVID-19 job as part of a mass vaccination program. Millions more are planned to be vaccinated. And indeed, the UK government has ordered 40 million doses of this same vaccine. And so there you have it. We have a vaccine. And as of this week, it has been rolled out in many, many countries, including the United States and in Canada, where I'm, I'm speaking to you from. So we know from science that the testing and vaccination are the one-two punch to end this pandemic. And Americans and Canadians, we have been promised that by June 2021, um, according to our public health officials, we'll have everyone vaccinated who wants to take the vaccine. So which way in Nigeria? Any sign of the vaccine yet? Just yesterday, our minister came on to say that they're still talking about which vaccine to get and whatnot, and nothing concrete has been discussed. If it works as expected, tests have shown 95% efficacy, and then the days of COVID are indeed numbered, and there is indeed light at the end of the tunnel. The metaphoric expression, light at the end of the tunnel, is apt considering the dark shadow COVID has cast over our lives in the last few months. But how do we know? that this light is not a speeding train bridging down the tunnel to crash into everyone. The other day, someone posted below a meme in my WhatsApp group, um, 40 years with a lot of research for HIV, no vaccine. 100 years worth of research for cancer, no vaccine. 100 years worth of research for malaria, no vaccine. 100 years worth of research for the common cold, where is the vaccine? Now, you want me to believe a vaccine for COVID is available after just a few months? How about no vaccine for meal? Among the hundreds of ridiculous conspiratorial theories out there, there are a few that are worth mentioning. Novel coronavirus was planted to build the 5G network. The COVID vaccine will alter a person's DNA. Mr. Gates, former Microsoft CEO, will launch human implantable capsules that become digital certificates, which can show who has been tested for the coronavirus, who has been vaccinated against it, and gather more information about you. Number four, COVID is not worse than the flu. I don't take the flu vaccine, so no reason to take the COVID vaccine. Such myths and misinformation have led to a lot of people to refuse to even consider taking the vaccine. So to date, Nigeria has not released any concrete plan, logistics, or in fact, the government, how they want to acquire the vaccine. Like I said, they keep talking, they're talking to this and this and that, but nothing concrete. And we know that the vaccine, at least one particular type, needs very deep freeze cold chain. And there's not a single deep cold chain of minus 80 degrees centigrade in Nigeria, not one. So other countries... I've ordered 10 billion doses against COVID um, from AstraZeneca, Pfizer, Biotech, Moderna, and even Gamalaya by, um, by all of them. And we haven't mentioned what we, what we have, um, have pre-ordered. Um, I can tell you, for example, 700 million doses have been ordered by the um, United States and the uh, European Union. And even India ordered 500 million doses. And in Africa, Egypt. Um, ordered 30 million doses. So how many million doses has Nigerian ordered? We haven't got any concrete thing till now. My advocacy, therefore, is for the Nigerian government to copy the gold standards seen elsewhere in our world and for the NCDC to inspire confidence by widely publicizing the gains of vaccinations and by top government officials like our elderly, sometimes sickly president, volunteering along with frontline workers as the first in line to take the job, to make Nigerians know that it's safe and indeed protect us against this deadly virus. Thanks, Tukewe. You've made an example of an elderly sitting president to take the job first. That would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. You lead by example. After all, the measure of leadership is influence. Yes. Nothing less, nothing more. Mm. So the president should lead uh, by uh, taking the job first. It's Rukewe, she said it. <laughs> my, 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 fear, my, my fear is that uh, in Nigeria, the government have no strategy to 
to preserve the people and keep them away from hunger and poverty, Ooh. sickness and diseases. They have not been able to do that. Now, coronavirus is a higher dimension of a danger, okay? As we speak, there is no strategy for now because we're only told that uh, the federal government will acquire the vaccines. How will it be distributed in a country where we have uh, tribal issues, you have to know man, you have to uh, sort yourself, pay, through, pay your way through mm -hmm. to get yourself treated and all that. How exactly are we going to have this distributed? What is the strategy? What are the measures being put in place for <laughs> the proper distribution of these drugs? We don't know anything let, yet. Let, let's take Jumo. Okay? Ever okay. since talking like we are in a hurry to take the vaccine. <laughs> we are not. <laughs> That's another part of the story. So, why are you people are queuing up? <laughs> we are standing at the back. No, but the vaccine is important. Um, we are with you go and take it first. <laughs> well, I'm on, what do you think? Oh, well, I, I think we can just... incentivize some people to take well, it. If we, if we say we're giving out home. money, let's, let's a lot of people. people are home home. Home. When you talk about a population of 200 million people, um, the views will not be the same. So, there are Nigerians who are ready today to take the vaccine if the vaccine is actually yes. uh, available. And as a matter of fact, we won't be able to provide 200 million vials of the vaccine. So if it's only 20, what is important is the plan, the priorities. Who are they on the priority list? Elderly. And how are we, because for now, one of the vaccines requires certain unusual temperatures to preserve them. Yes. Do we have the facility with those tem temperatures? Those, those are some of the issues we need to deal with before even talking about getting the vaccine. If we get the vaccine today, it will go to waste. Well, the reality. Uh, well, my, my solution is to allow the president, his ministers, the National Assembly, all our elderly who are take not it. The are you scared of the vaccine? Or no. No. Let <laughs> them just take the vaccine. <laughs> they take but, but it appears that it, it lead by example. <laughs> it appears that you are, you are more scared of the vaccine than the coronavirus. No, no, no. Exactly. It constitutes the uh, risk. Okay. Group high risk group. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, so yeah, they, they right. should lead by example. That's all. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm up next after the break. Exposed.